right, so new project here. We're gonna get rid of uh, our old hitch here. The one that was sold to us with our trailer, which really, I don't think was very good uh, of a deal for us because I don't even know if this one is rated for the weight that we're putting. But uh, it, it, it wobbles quite a bit. So we're gonna get rid of that there. And we're gonna go with a much beefier design by Gen Y Hitch. And uh, we'll be getting this boy going and we'll let you guys know how it goes. Thank you. Well, all right, we're just about done here. We've mounted up the Gen Y Torsion Flex Hitch. This one here is a 21,000 pound rated up to. And I've got an extended shank here too. Uh, and so some, some challenges I was facing here. <clears throat> Number one, I got a diesel generator that has a big housing here that sits on the tongue of my trailer. Not ideal for, for many of us having, you know, our generator sit on the tongue of our, our trailers, especially when you're running a diesel one that's weighing about 650 pounds. Add it right onto the tongue of your trailer. Then, to add on more, is I don't have a lot of play here, as you can see, right? And with that comes challenges of making some tight turns and my tail light. <laughs> Good thing we didn't do any damage to the tailgate or anything else to the, to the frame, the body of the vehicle. But that led me to having to invest in a, in a uh, system that could push my trailer out about another couple more inches so I can make a bit tighter uh, turns. Uh, in doing so too, you're gonna have to add on extensions to your chains. Now these aren't uh, all together just yet. I had the pins in, I added a coupler in each one of them to add on about a foot. Uh, and um, So I think the length is good. I'll just have to take those tags out as you can see right in there at the bottom. I'll just relocate those. Those are just saying what it's rated up to. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so we got those. So these chains here, these are 5 16 chains. So what I did was I matched up with what was already there, 5 16 and they're rated up to 4,700 pounds. So that's good enough to, if something gets disconnected here to hold on to. Um, and that is where I'm standing right now. Um, another issue, once you start adding length on here, because ideally what you really want is you want your, your trailer to be as close to your tow vehicle as possible. Unfortunately, as I just talked about, I can't get that. So, in return, you're gonna get more pressure down on the tongue of your vehicle because you're extending it out. And with that, then leads to dropping the tail end of your vehicle down, raising up the front of your vehicle. This, is, this leads to issues with losing steering, or your steering wheel kind of vibrating a bit because you're lifting up the front end. As you're driving down the road, you're hitting bumps. <clears throat> to mitigate that issue, obviously you want to install airbags. In my vehicle, I do have airbags and lifted to about uh, 60 uh, PSI right now in the rear end to bring it up to about level now. So uh, that's good. I, I usually ride around uh, 50 to 65. I've gone to up to 70 before. Um, just because I was testing everything. And usually the sweet spot for me is about 60 um, for this truck and trailer. But considering the fact that I've added an extension here and shanked out a bit, I'll have to um, make adjustments as I get out onto a uh, level. Alrighty, well, we've made a hefty investment in the trailer hitch. So we want to make sure that we do protect it. I've chosen to go with the Trimax system here for the coupler lock as well as the uh, receiver locks. Um, I went with the U-Max 100 for the coupler lock and the SXT5 for my receiver locks. Now, the receiver locks, I went with the SX model um, and because of the fact that they're stainless steel. And for out where I'm driving around, in the winter time, I've got that salt brine, things like that. And I really don't plan on taking the receiver off. I plan on just leaving it on the truck. So with that, I figured I might as well invest in the stainless steel. Now you obviously want to do some maintenance to your, uh, to your locks uh, and your hitch. So just pay attention to that. 
All right, so now all locked up, we now have our class five receiver locks in place. Uh, the SXT5 from Trimax, got them in both positions for the shank here, ball shank, as well as into the receiver itself. Uh, size on what I use for my hitch here is five eighths by three and a half inch span. Again, this is the Trimax SXT5 model. Okay, so we have the UMAX 100 now installed, and I do like this little area right here, access to the lock with your key. Pop down, pop up, UMAX 100. 